Hello, all my friends over the South, including Texas, Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, and Arkansas. This is the weekly water outlook. Now, last week, you might remember I mentioned that we were having this ridge of high pressure develop over the western parts of the U.S., and that's this ridge right here, and a trough of low pressure over the east. And unfortunately, when you get that ridge of high pressure, that normally means uh, drier and warmer type conditions. Um, and that is the second, this is the first full week we've been in this pattern, and it looks like it's going to be a persistent pattern as we look uh, further ahead. So as far as uh, tropical activity, uh, we're getting to the point in time, you might have seen I sent out a tropical climatology over this last week. We're starting to get into the point of time when we could get a system into the Gulf that could maybe bring some relief. Right now I don't see anything, but keep in mind that the even little pulses of tropical activity, uh, even areas of uh, tropical moisture, if they get pulled in, that can provide some very heavy rainfall. I don't see it this week, but let's keep that in mind that even tropical moisture or tropical plumes of moisture can bring significant rainfall uh, to the area. It doesn't have to be necessarily an established uh, system. So as far as rainfall over the last uh, week, this is the last seven days observed rainfall. Um, you can see across most of Texas, the vast majority, it was a very quiet week. I tend to look at these rainfall analysis and look at the blue as uh, very minimal type precipitation. The green is moderate and the yellow and reds is excessive or heavy rainfall. But if you just cross the line into Oklahoma, look at how much of Oklahoma was covered by significant rainfall as well as uh, parts of Kansas. Um, that's really a very high amount of rainfall in Oklahoma. The areas in yellow are two inches or more and red is five. So very significant rainfall over parts of Oklahoma, parts of western Arkansas, and scattered parts of uh, Kansas. But it looks like almost right when we got into the state line of Texas, a lot less rainfall. So you can see that here. Look how distinct this line is right here. We have a um, very distinct line with well above normal precipitation, well below normal precipitation. So that's been the story uh, over the last week. And um, if we look at the past 30 days, this is a longer trial, uh, um, looking at a longer record of 30 days. Um, you can see that that, remember that a couple weeks ago, the real heavy rain we had in Texas, that's still showing up. If we took out just a two day heavy rain period or three day with that closed upper low drifting over our region, uh, it'd be a different story, but that's impacting even the 30 day percent of normal precipitation. I think it's a little bit misleading. If you look at this, you'd say the South is in good shape. Oklahoma's uh, definitely had more rainfalls, much as uh, Kansas as well, but I think it's really those two or three days are really masking an overall long-term dry spell and drought impacts over the state of Texas. Not that we weren't really welcoming that rain, and that went a long way to helping, but it certainly didn't impact um, the long-term picture as far as drought. And I think that shows up a little bit here in the maximum consecutive dry days. Despite that above normal average rainfall for uh, 30 days, if we look at the areas in yellow here, right in this area here, a uh, fairly large area here had a um, number of days, 18, 20, 21 consecutive dry days uh, over the last 30 days. So even though we had that heavy rain, uh, this is still saying that the, the overall impacts still are trending towards drought over Texas. So the jet stream analysis, pretty simple picture this week. Uh, it looks like uh, the pattern of a ridge over the west, trough over the east will continue. This will be parts of uh, the second week. Next week looks very similar. Uh, matter of fact, you can see from the blue, which is this week, to the yellow, which is next week, we actually develop that, intensify that. Models are showing where it bulges even further to the north and dips to the south uh, later this week, and that'll continue into next week. So the type of pattern we've had uh, looks like it's going to continue uh, for a while at least. Now the Potential for heaviest rainfall will be generally along the transition here um, between the impacts of the cooler, drier air and the warmer air. That's one area where it looks like there will be uh, more significant rainfall. And you can see that that does cover a large part of Kansas. Uh, very heavy rainfall into parts of Missouri. And a strong gradient here where we're going from um, rainfall that's very heavy in Kansas, moderate in Oklahoma, 
and to nothing in Texas, very dry in Texas. So a very strong gradient. I have a high confidence in this forecast. This forecast here, models have been flip-flopping. This could be a little bit further north, a little bit further south. Um, but so this gradient right here, uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to say exactly where that line will develop uh, right here. That could be a little bit further north, a little bit further south. In any event, I don't think it's going to be south of the Texas border where it looks like it will be very dry in that region. Now here's the second week outlook. This is August 5th through 13th. And you got to really look at these, sort of stand back and look at these and not get too excited about uh, precipitation amounts. Um, it is showing that there could be a little bit more precipitation over Texas, um, but I wouldn't get excited about that right now, but it does look like the pattern of right in that boundary here. Um, I think Kansas, northern Oklahoma, better chances of getting more significant precipitation. I think that Texas still is going to be below normal on week two as well, as I don't really see a whole lot of changes in this overall weather pattern. So the takeaway looks like a week of dry weather once again for most of Texas. It looks like very wet conditions over uh, Kansas, especially eastern Kansas. And it looks like Oklahoma is going to be in the middle with very wet conditions on the far north boundary, very dry conditions on the south southern boundary. Week two, I don't see a whole lot of changes right now. I'm sure the heaviest rain will moderate a bit. I'm working on my newsletter. I'll get that out this week. I have a lot of good information that I think you'll enjoy. And if you ever have any questions, you know my email, john at bluewateroutlook.com. I love to hear from you, and uh, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'd like to hear how things are going on your farm or ranch. If not, I will be talking with you again next week. Thanks for listening.